Hey loves and welcome back to my channel it's ijoma here and in today's video we're going to make this beautiful gown with a drawstring and a cut together sleeve it's a doorman dress with a drawstring at the waist i'm sorry i've been missing i've been busy offline i've been working in my school and then my online training now we are going to need just three yards of fabric for this three yards should be very enough three yards by 60. this is the fabric that i'll be using this is a shiny crepe though if you are making this dress i'll advise you to use a shirt fabric like a lighter fabric this one is a kind of thick using a shirt fabric will make it very easy for you to work with then what i'm going to do now is that i will fold my fabric this is a cut together so i will cut out the back first of all and i will cut the front the back will be plain it will not have any zipper allowance this is a very free dress then after you can use the drawstring to make it tighter at the waist now i am done folding the first thing that i'm going to measure is my shoulder my shoulder is eight inches right and this is a cut together dress so this is eight inches then from there you will measure the full length of your sleeve so i want my sleeve to stop around 22 inches and that is what i'll be using for that sleeve for now then i'll measure three inches for the neck width and one 0.5 for the neck depth then i will connect if you want you can use one inch for your neck depth you know this has a color it has a color though the color is not too fitted then i will mark my let's say 1.5 for my shoulder slant then the next thing that we are going to do is that we will mark our vertical measure vertical measurements the bust point the chest line so i want to use my bust point as my chest line and my bust point is 11 my half length is 17 my shoulder to hip is 27 and the full length of this dress is 36 plus one inch for hemming allowance that will be 20 37 sorry so if your bust point is 12 you can use that 12 as your chest now you know it's a cut together sleeve then now i will divide my bust by four and i'll add extra 1.5 for ease divide your bust by four then add extra 1.5 or two inches for ease what you're going to do next is that you will connect down your sleeve length to that chest line then you will curve then at the waist there's no need for the waist measurement there's no need for that waist measurement the waist is free you're going to make it size with a drawstring what you're going to do is that you will just mark down your bust measurement whatever you have at your bust mark it down to the waist then at the hip you divide your hip by four plus extra two inches or 1.5 for ease as well then you connect from the waist to the hip line and down to the full length and this is it for the back it is really simple then from the hemline go up by three inches and then you will connect after connecting this you will go ahead and cut out now i am done cutting what i'm going to do now is that i will use this back to cut out the front you can see the back is on fold no zipper nothing now i have folded my fabric for the front and i will go ahead and place the back on it if you place the back on it at the center front you will leave like two inches or 1.5 for your allowance you know this dress has a slit at the neckline so you leave like 1.5 or two inches for that slit at the neckline then you will cut out you know leave that 1.5 make sure that you have at least 1.5 or 2 inches then you go ahead and cut out the rest of the measurements they will be equal and then at the neckline this is a turtleneck so we are going to make our neckline three inches deep the front neckline will be three inches deep then we are also going to slit the front we are going to cut this front open leave it open then after you will close your slit and then it depends on how deep you want your slit to be that is the essence of leaving this 1.5 inch allowance you have here you just close from where you want your slit to stop at now this is what we have i'll go ahead and open up these pieces that i have cut out but before i do that i'll extend my neck depth i want my neck depth to be three inches now i have three inches here and i'll go ahead and cut out after cutting this out this is our front we have two pieces at the front you can see what we have there 
what we are going to do now is that we replace the two of them together and remember we added 1.5 inch for our slit allowance after placing the two of them together you place your tape from the shoulder to where you want that next slit to stop at so i want mine to stop at nine inches this is nine inches and i'll come in by 1.5 this 1.5 is that slit allowance that i added now i'll mark my straight line down to the full length that 1.5 mark it straight down to the full length so you just go ahead and run a straight line on this line that i marked now so this is the back the back is just plain you don't need to do anything on the back now for the front you know it will have a small flap like a flap that looks like a pocket so i want that flap to be six inches wide and four inches high so now it is four inches high and i marked 4.5 that is for the height then for the width you can make it five inches or six inches i'll go ahead and cut them open so that i will have two pieces and they are on fold the height is four inches but i made it 4.5 the width is six inches but i made it seven because i will use half an inch half an inch to close the sides of this flap or these pieces this um welt pocket illusion that we have there now the next thing that we are going to do is that we'll cut out this 1.5 inches uh, pieces or strap this is for the drawstring and for the channel for the drawstring i have like four pieces here and they are long now back to the front i am done closing the slits at the front i stopped at nine inches i'll turn the back so that you guys can see what i have there you know i measured nine inches from my shoulder then i closed the remaining what we are going to do now is that we will iron this allowance flat just go ahead and iron it flat then you are going to sew on it or you can use a hemming gum to hold it down you can see the remaining part of the slits at the neckline it is open so just go ahead and pin down you can sew or you can insert a hemming gum underneath i am using a hemming gum i'll use that hemming gum to hold down the allowance now i am done adding a hemming gum and you can see how beautiful that slit is it is very fine um if you want you can run a stitch on it but this is better shoulder also will come down to where we want this pocket illusion to be at so i want my pocket illusion to be one inch below my half length you know my drawstring will be at my half length so i placed it one inch below my half length now i have like 18 inches there from the shoulder you mark like 18 inches so this 18 inches is where this pocket illusion will be at then from the center line you will go back by like three inches or two inches like the gap it will give from the center should be like three inches or 2.5 it is up to you so from these three inches the pocket will now start and um, it will go towards the side of the dress now this is the pocket i'm done turning it i'll just go ahead and fold the top then i will place it around there if you place it you will run a stitch on it so i will place the two of them and i will hold them down with a pin please hold them down with a pin so that it, they will not shift this is very necessary then this is the second one you measure three inches away from the center line before you place each of these pockets and if you place them you go ahead and secure them with a pin so that they will not shift this dress is really simple you just have to follow the necessary um procedure now the next thing that i'm going to do is that i'll run a stitch on it and now i am done running a stitch on the both of them we are going to close this shoulder first of all after closing the shoulder we will hem the sleeve after closing the shoulder you will hem the sleeve don't close the side for now i am done closing the shoulder and these are the pieces that i will use for the sleeve you know the sleeve has um a turn up like a fold over so these are the pieces i'll just go ahead and turn these pieces and i have like one inch piece like they are one inch and they are like five inches long so you are going to turn your sleeve then place it inside and pin down and this is what you are going to roll your sleeve off up if you roll your sleeve off it will hold it down so just pin it along the shoulder seam then you will turn it to the right side then you repeat the same thing at the other side of the sleeve you pin it under the sleeve 
from the hemline you go up by like five inch from the hem of the sleeve you go up by five inches and then pin after pinning you will turn it to the side so if you fold your sleeve up it will help hold it in place the next thing that we are going to do now is to join the sides of this gown and i'm done joining the sides and i have hemmed the down part the next thing that we are going to do now is to mark the line where we want our drawstring to be at so i want it to be at the half length line this is the half length line so i'll just go ahead and extend this my half length line this is for the back and i'll also extend it to the front so now if you are if you are adding this piece this channel for your drawstring you will have to run it around the waistline on the inside the pieces will be inside so this is the drawstring i'm done folding the rope that i will use for my drawstring then this is the piece that i will use for the drawstring i have like 1.5 there so let me just go ahead and trim it so that all of all the sides will be equal then after that i will start joining from the front and all over the waist of this dress and remember this channel will be inside your dress so from the outside they will be seeing just two stitches around the waistline so this piece is very important this is what will hold your drawstring in place so after trimming i will start from the center front then i will run it all the way to the back and back to this center front so you run two lines on it you leave like half an inch gap between the two lines then now i am done doing that and you can see the piece everything is looking neat already you can even overlock i have two lines there and i have like half an inch space so now we are going to add our collar we are going to measure our round collar our round neck sorry my round neck is 18.5 my round neck from the slit to the other side of the slit also so i have 18.5 there and this is the paper that i'll be using for this collar i will fold my paper and the next thing that we do is that i will divide that 18.5 by 2 and i have like 9.25 so i have marked 9.25 and i'll mark a straight line there and this is my center front this place that i marked this straight line is my center front the open side is your center front because you have a slit at the front then i will go from that center front line i will go up by one inch i'll go up by one inch from the center front i labeled it as cf i'll go up by one inch then i will slant from the baseline of this color to that one inch you know we want the front to be curved then from that area you start marking 1.5 1.5 you can see how i am coming down gradually you can see how i'm coming down gradually you'll be marking 1.5 1.5 so maintain this 1.5 inch with this is the height of the collar 1.5 so maintain that 1.5 you can see how curved it looks at the center front then from the center front line come back by one inch and then you will curve you know the collar is somehow curved at the front and this is what you have at the end of the day so if you cut your collar this way it will relax after fixing it on your fabric after fixing it on your gown sorry now after cutting this out i will open it so that we can see what it looks like so if you open it you can see that the center front area is curved it is not just straight if you make it straight it will not relax properly around your neckline so you can see what i have there the next thing that i'm going to do now is that i will cut it out on my fabric and the fabric is unfold this um collar will have two pieces and if you are cutting add half an inch seam allowance around the collar add half an inch seam allowance then after doing this i'll add a soft interface to the two of them and i'll go ahead and close the top area now i am done closing the top at the side of this collar the down part is still open i'll go ahead and trim off the excess allowance i have there after trimming off this excess allowance you will fold your collar and you will iron so you can see only the down part of this collar is open at this moment after ironing it just go ahead and fix it around your neckline you can see how i iron the flat then fix it around your neckline the next thing that we are going to do now is that we will open up our center front i'm trying to trim off the excess thread that i have there i will open up my center front i'll just open like two small spaces there very small 
you can add an eye an eyelet there later just open on at on each side of this center line open like a little space this is where you will insert this drawstring so this is my drawstring i'll go ahead and start inserting it and i will have to insert it from this point all the way to the back and back to the other opening at the center front so just take your time and insert this and this is the reason why i said that you should use a shirt fabric or a light fabric so that when you draw your string together your outfit will be fine it will not be too heavy for the drawstring to hold together so now i am done inserting this drawstring and i'm trying to like arrange them very very well as you are inserting you'll be arranging it so now i am done arranging and i will tie it at the front so after tying at the front you can see how beautiful this dress is looking already the next thing that we are going to do is that we will fix our collar and then we will pin down our side belt or fastener for the sleeve you know the sleeve has this piece when you turn it up you will hold it down so this is what i fixed around there you can add a button at that spot so at the end of the day this is what you have i hope our dress is beautiful and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you'll be notified Bye.